Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here again. Welcome to day five. So it's Friday night. Uh -huh. Today we have a Tada, which is a Turkish brand. Um, they do make military rations. This, however, is a civilian. Uh, this is an eight hour. Um, so we have Tada Outdoor. Uh, this menu is legumes and grains. So they have, I th think, three options. There's a vegetarian option. There's a beef and there's a chicken. Um, this is the only one I've been able to get a hold of so far. Um, I think I got it from Emory Empire. Uh, no, check that. I got it off eBay. However, I've seen them on Emory Empire. Uh, the 24-hour ones are expensive. Um, I was able to get a hold of this one, though, so uh, pretty stoked about that. Um, so you have a net weight of 550 grams, 829 calories. Oh yeah, 829 calories, 550 grams. <sighs> Close enough. Uh, one pound, 2.8 ounces. Um, so as to the condition of this, uh, this is how I got it in the packaging uh, that they shipped it in. So I, I, there was no custom stickers on it. Because we all love customs. Um, so I don't know exactly why it's in this condition. Um, it wasn't the thumbnail that was on eBay when I bought it, but... Eh, doesn't seem to be anything missing, even though it seems to be about 15 grams lighter. But I, 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 I don't know. Um, it does have a little handy dandy hangy thing. Uh, I guess if you're camping, you could put it on a carabiner or something. Um, as to why you would do that, I don't know. There's no zip seal that I can. Oh, no, wait, there is a zip seal. Nope. Yeah, no, there is a zip seal. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, I guess if you got it intact, had some food, you could hang it from a tree, keep it out of a bear's reach, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a complete list of everything. As you can see here, there is uh, chickpeas and tomato sauce, 200 grams. A bulgur pilaf with green lentils. Welcome to the lentil awareness uh, front. Um, that's 200 grams. Uh, bulgur is uh, uh, like a cracked wheat. Uh, you have a date nut bar, 32 grams. Filter coffee, uh, 12 grams. Accessory pat, flameless heater, and a multi-use heating pouch. Uh, because it is open and I have looked inside, because I wanted to see if there was something missing. There doesn't appear to be anything missing. So, hmm. give a little illustration there on to uh, how to do it. 100 mils of water. Lock the zipper on the pouch, which obviously, not doing that, uh, unless there is. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's crack into it, see what we got. Pull out our first. Surprise, it is our chickpeas and tomato sauce. Heat it, flameless heater, in hot water, in a pan. So got a uh, list of ingredients there. Water, chickpeas, vegetable oil, tomato paste, tomatoes, red pepper paste, red pepper. So hopefully it might have a little spice to it. It is Turkish, after all. Best before, uh, 7, 2022. So, uh, a little out of date. And then we have our bulgur pilaf with green lentils. There's a gluten warning on that. So you get water, bulgur. Uh, obviously, if it's wheat, it's got gluten in it. Uh, onions, green lentils, tomatoes, vegetables. I like the way that some of them do like the the percentage of, of stuff in here just to show you what you're getting, not just a list of ingredients. 
even though they would be in sequential order as to most to least. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Flameless ration here. That's a big one. Coffee. Instant filter coffee. Well, that's a little different. Accessory pouch. We have our 30 gram date and nut bar. Uh, does it list? Oh, sorry about the tight focus there. I'm trying to read this. Um, a lot of information, none of it in English, though. Um, and that's our, so in our bag, we have oh, good grief. What is how the heck do you There we go. Oh, resealable bag. Huge resealable bag. A uh, hot beverage pouch is used in the flameless ration heater kits for drinking hot tea, coffee, etc. So for the top, hot beverage at 200 gram, milliliters of water. Recolors the pouch for vent leakage. Place hot beverage pouch inside flameless rationator carefully, lest you burn. Obviously, lest you burn yourself. Depending on the heater and temperature, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Hot coffee prepared by the... Oh, maybe that's what's missing. Instructions for water purification. Pull Bieber. So this is a um, uh, uh, red pepper pouch. Got some Tuz and some Carabiber or pepper, salt, sugar. Wet nap, I'm guessing. Hmm. Water purification. Tablet. Napkin, stir stick, spoon. So that's what miss. That's what's missing is the the element for the flameless ration heater, and that's going to be the fifteen gram difference that I noticed. Okay, so seeing as how we're not doing that, um, I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, well, that kind of sucks when you figure out you've been screwed over a bit. Uh, anyway, uh, we can do a few things. Um, I do have the stove on here with the pouches warming up. Um, I, since Mrs. Joe's uh, on a road trip, I, uh, I did steal another one of her mason jars here. Uh, so I've got a liter of water. Um, so all you're going to do is follow the instructions on here. If it's clear, uh, if it's not clear, you got to filter it. Add one tablet to the water, shake well, 30 mics, uh, safe to drink, don't eat the tablet. And obviously the same in, um, I'm assuming, Turkish. Um, so, use our itty bitty little tab. Yeah, the size of that thing. And that's going to purify a liter of water. I can get it into the liter of water. There we go. Uh, now, I will shake that um, after we get off camera because um, it's got to sit for 30 minutes, so it's going to take a while. Um, I'll set up. I'll tell you what. We'll use our wet nap. It's moist. Anyway. Stretchy. Very stretchy. It's got a bit of a scent to it. 
It's not like a chemical, harsh chemical smell, but yeah, it's got a scent of something to it. It's not bad. Uh, and then we'll set up our coffee. Um, so basically, it's uh, it does list it as a Brazilian coffee, 100% uh, Arabic Arabica. Tear notch, which apparently I cannot tear. Oh, got it. So it is a filter in the bag. So one carefully removes that. Oh, and it does even it does say open here as well. Hang on. Oh, yep, you know, it is perforated. Yeah, there you go. It's perforated. Oh, it smells good. And I know Turks are known for good coffee, so hopefully that's that's spot on. Uh, other than that, that. Bendy spoon, which we'll be using. Uh, it's the best quality stir stick you could come up with, really. Anyway, I guess it's not a single use plastic, which is something. So that just leaves our uh, two meals that I got going there our date nut bar, which we will try after our meals, our uh, spasses to add to our meal, and our sugar, which will go with our coffee once we make it uh, again I'm not going to do it now um, I will give that three mics I will uh, let that stuff warm up and uh, we will uh, see you then bye all right well our water's had 30 minutes to do its thing um, just check quickly on the coffee does not say how much water to add, but it does say to add it slowly. So obviously you just don't want to overfill it while it's percolating through the filter. Or overflow the cup for that matter because there's going to be some water in the filter. But I'm assuming you could fill this probably right to the brim because you're going to close to the brim because you're going to displace. Let me pull it out. That's probably good. Anyway, we're going to crack into our two. Dishes while that does its thing. Uh, we shall go with our chickpeas and tomato sauce first. Nice and hot. Peel the seal. Which does peel. I'm impressed. Inside there. Yeah, a little watery, but you know. Once you mix it all together. Not a bad consistency. Get a nice big mouthful of that. Mmm. Nice, tasty.
spiced well, though not spicy, as in hot. Nice tomato flavor. Chickpeas are cooked well. Um, they are firm without being too mushy. Um, but they're not crunchy or hard or anything like that. So, yeah, that's pretty tasty. And again, these are both 200 grams each. Um, so you would probably split that up somehow. If you so desire to. Um, this is my dinner, so um, I'm going to bang on both of them, I think. And our bulgur with green lentils. Along with the lentils. Don't worry, that joke will get old fast and I won't be using it much anymore, so. Oh, that's almost got like a lemon scent to it or something, I think. Uh, that's what it would have looked like if it was still in the pouch. There's your lentils in there. Mostly bulgur, but yeah, there's there's some lentils, maybe a bit of carrot there. Excuse me. A nice big spoonful. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Onion, green lentils, tomatoes, vegetable oil, salt, sugar, spice mix, pomegranate syrup. All right. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can get a bit of a citrus off that. Unless that's from the spice mix. Tasty. We could. I'm not gonna bother though. Um, yeah, it's got enough, it's got enough flavor by itself that it doesn't need. No, that's actually really good. I like that. See what our chemically purified water tastes like. It's like water. No scent. Yeah, it's got no flavor to it whatsoever. So good on those tabs that's for sure because uh you know some of the some of the ones you get commercially out of uh, canadian tire or walmart or whatever like coglin brand or stuff i mean they can be quite uh chlorine or iodine or what have you take a sip of our caffey It's a very mild brew, um, considering it's a pour over. Um, it's probably a medium roast. I prefer darker roasts usually, but uh, toss the sugar in there. Sugar does not have a weight on it. And I probably, if I'd have been smart, weighed that beforehand, but. We know me and scales.
that makes almost no discernible difference in the taste of the coffee. Um, that, that little sugar. Yeah, almost nothing. Anyway, we'll crack on with our date nut bar. Alright. Obviously pressed with the nuts pressed onto it. it. Smells a little sour actually, which is not something I expect from dates. Six of twenty twenty two. So maybe it's beyond its best by date. Very dry. Nuts are throughout it, as well as on top of it. Not very sweet, which again is kind of odd considering it's a date bar. I know a lot of modern products um, are, are trying to get away from like artificial sweeteners and that kind of thing, so they are using dates more, pardon my reach, um, as a sweetener, but yeah, that's kind of almost. It's a little sweet, but it's almost like a neutral flavor. It's kind of odd. Anyway, um, that is going to be my dinner. As soon as I am done uh, bothering you lovely people. Uh, which will be uh, just about now. So that is... Uh, 121 grams for the package. Or uh, 4.2 ounces for garbage. So, yeah, of the whole thing, that's uh, not too bad, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for being with me again. Um, we'll see you on the weekend. Bourbon Street Drove, out.